watching that genius documentary, in what ways is somebody that has had massive success inside of the music industry, were you able to relate to Kanye and you saw that and you were like, I've been there and I'm relating to this part of the movie? Man, I would say um, definitely the <clears throat> that that imbalance of not being able to go back to your charging station. Mm. That shit like having a Tesla and they shut down all the charging stations, bro. <laughs> oh, nigga, please. You can't ride around looking for gas. So what you gonna do? <laughs> you can't put 80, E85 in that bitch either. <laughs> you got to find a charging station. Yeah. But when you can't find that, you just gonna have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I had to figure it out, man. Um, and. And thank God I have, you know, all the relatives, you know, support my big brother, yeah. you know, my, like I say, my sister, cousins, and aunts, uncles, and friends, you yeah. know. Um, I have my support system, and shit. I support them as well. But, yeah, but not having that, man, I um, I can relate to to some of the things he's he done, but a <sighs> few things that I see, too, man, in that uh, situation, even when you currently see what he's doing now, is um everybody don't take heartbreak the same way either. Uh yeah. You know, you gotta think this dude here used to having his way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your only yeah. child and, and if you so not to mention you used to having your own, you know, your way, but you can basically buy anything. Yeah. So when you see that your money don't mean nothing, ooh. And this woman got your kids and she's steadily like elbowing you once again, go on, yay. Yeah. You getting that feeling as you got if you, when you was trying to get be a rapper. Ooh. So that can drive certain men insane. Yeah. Women too. We've yeah. heard stories of what women have done. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, man. You know, it's women stalkers and men stalkers, but I'm not calling uh, yeah, a stalker, but yeah. a lot of us, even some of the biggest players, could admit to being guilty of, of being Commit obsessed with a bad chick and, and committing some stalkerish acts <laughs> in a certain way. Even if you call a woman a little too much, too much and you crazy. For you. That's lightweight yeah, stalking. Exactly. You know, so and on this damn social media, you scrolling now. Yeah, and you got three kids by this woman, and she's trying to move on, and she called herself moving over here. Okay, well I'm finna move next door. Yeah, I got billions. I can stay right here. My kids ain't tripping. You're tripping. <laughs> so. People say it's crazy, but she, if I could afford it, my ex-wife tripping, I'm like, all right, I ain't, got, I ain't coming over that gate. But now I'm that here. I know my kids is got to, we'll cut a hole where they can come through. <laughs> Maybe the dog can come through that fence too, but uh, I don't have to see you, uh, yeah. ex-wife. You know what I mean? So it's just a few things, man. And, and people judge folks on how they handle things. Like, don't judge nobody. You don't know how you would handle a certain situation. You know exactly. what I mean? You know how people say, oh man, if I walked in and seen my wife bugging another nigga, you go, you got some nigga say, I shoot somebody. Some nigga say they'll walk right back out and yeah. act like they didn't see it. You and really, both do the opposite. You, yeah, you don't know how you would react, man, off of something like that. So, you know, it's heartbreak, man. You know, he's trying to get his wife back and put his family back together. And um, what man wouldn't go to those extreme measures if you really love your kids and, yeah. you know, and love the whole <clears throat> family concept? So, that's why, man, I, I don't judge nobody, man. I see certain things he do. Of course, I would say I would do it a different way. Yeah. But that's me, and that's him. What about when he gives D.L. Hughley hell and tells him that he's going to have to off him? See, that's stuff that you really... Uh, that's when you got to really keep cool. And that's what oh, that's was kind of getting a me a little bit. That's yeah, because I'm thinking to myself, you know what, yay... That's you know, you're putting yourself in harm's way with a lot of this stuff, too, man. Harm's and you're leaving a paper trail with, of some, you know, with foolery the streets going and on. the law. Yeah. You know, and DL could easily say, hey, you know, y'all heard that man just threaten me now. So yeah. if I see him, ain't no telling what I might do and what my folks might do and what yeah. his folks might do. That man just shot me a threat. So I would definitely, if I still had a, a, a good dumb on yay, I ain't yeah. gonna lie, I would, I would, I would have been there calling him on a few yeah. things, man. And not to try to sun nobody. I always been like, hey, you know, because I'm pretty good at easing into certain things. Yeah. Of course, you get into, hey, man, how you doing? And how's everything going? Yeah. But, you know, and then about 15 minutes of the conversation, by the way, man, <laughs> exactly. you know, just watch how you, you know, don't don't shoot no threats to no other man. Yeah, you don't know exactly. how, you know. How he might damn, react. Yeah, DL from the from the gutter of fucking yeah. of, of, of L.A. I think he's from, from Watts, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. He's from the streets now yeah. of L.A., you know. 
And not saying that every day with tattoo, but the, all them tats, DL got me something. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you see this clean, he ain't to be cute. comedy guy, but exactly. nah, that man, he, he got an edge to him. So ain't no Thanks. telling what type of phone calls he can make too. And you out here in this man's hometown. So, so you just got to, you know, think about, you know, a certain thing before you really shoot those type threats, man. In between Kanye and Will Smith, who you kind of mentioned earlier mm -hmm. on, it seems like they both have their family life on Front Street, man. Mm. And it gets me because mm. it's like they're going through it. Straight up. I mean, I definitely put, uh, I, I, I graduated, man, from all that player shit, man. You know, yeah. all the women in rotation and shit like that. But, yeah, I got a great queen on my team right yeah. now, bro. She's super cool. and and and. But we ain't breaking our neck to be on, you know, all yeah. out there. Hey, we the new power couple on hey, Facebook. You know, but when you, I, I always said I, I would never really put well, my see, folks out See, it's not the like player that. stuff. Mm -hmm. It seems like the women are the players in these cases. It seems like Kim wants to move on with her life. Her life, yeah. Uh, you know, Jada was the one with the entanglement. Yep. And it seems like these men are trying to keep these families together and kind of squash or quell the stuff that's going on in mm. order to just keep the family together because it's like, yeah, we understand that, you know, Kanye like, I understand you want to move on. Yeah. But I don't care, I want my family together. Yeah. Well it's like, well we discussed this entanglement and I don't care, I'm keeping my family together and we all know what's going on around here. <clears throat> and see at the same time too, um and I would love to see Kanye really um if it ain't with Kim, to have a solid queen on this side, man. Because I'm telling you, it's dangerous being uh, financially super well off. Yeah. A uh, billionaire, it's, 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 it's a little dangerous being successful and being single. Yeah. Because you're going to get in a lot of trouble, man. You yeah. know what I mean? That's why a lot of athletes, you know, some of your top athletes, man, them, them, them owners of that team and them coaches don't want them running around here single, dude. Facts. If LeBron was single, you know, I could tell he a good kid just naturally, yep. but if LeBron was just a single dude out here as successful as he is, man, ain't no telling how many situations you would have been heard about him fighting in clubs. Yes. <laughs> ain't no telling how many women would be claiming, you know, to have a child by yep. him. So it's um even Jeff Bezos. Okay, yeah, you got divorced, but he knew yeah. he just couldn't be running around here just single in Vegas really and nearly. having yeah. 20, 30 women in his room or whatnot. Yeah. Like I say, that goes for entertainers and athletes, or so just anybody who's just highly successful. And uh Will, you know, come on, Will might most likely thought about it like, okay, this woman knows me better than anybody and I know her. Do I really feel like getting out here to know? get to know a whole new person. Hell no. Nah. Worrying about if they love me for me or my bread. <laughs> so that's what, and you know, women go through that too. That's yep. why they'd be like, oh, why don't you leave that nigga? Because you got some women, you know, of course now if you getting beat on, I, yeah, I, now, you gotta get up thing. out of there. Yeah, if it's some physical shit, but if it's just, hey, you heard about him messing around or whatever, and all right, yeah, that could be fixed. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if it's some physical abuse, nah, that's a little different. Exactly. So my whole thing is, yeah, man, it, it, it's treacherous out here, bro, to be a successful, a millionaire, a billionaire, and just out here single again, just back on the market. Like, that. that it's dangerous, man. What was it like for you, though, Toon, when What's you that? sitting over here got Grammys and everything going on, <laughs> and you know the money's coming in, right. and you walking around in these A-town streets as a local, real Atlanta, uh, shout out Amaretta, and you got to come home being yeah. DJ Toon. Even though you was popping since kindergarten, right. but nigga, it's amped up now. It's amped. And then you got all these out-of-town folks here to where, you know, the yep. locals is one thing, but boom, now you got these out-of-town women. Come on. And not to sit on the out-of-town women, but I, my whole thing is, I was like, man, you know what? When I'm ready to really settle down, I want yeah. to be somebody who I know, who I can- Who you know. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? I at least got to know you. We got to have some friends and come yeah. in the way. Okay, you know what? Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm real transparent. Like, hey, you know, with me and my girl, we, we decided to really get serious. I was like, all right, you know, you know, a nigga got a few bodies out there or whatnot, yeah. and you know, you know some of the bodies, and I know exactly. the people who you've dated. Exactly. And, but trying to figure out, just imagine, okay, you on Instagram, you see this girl ass all out. That's already a red flag. Red flag, Come anyway. On. And you know, and there's some beautiful women out there. I see your bodies, I see your face, I see the and everything, but. Oh, it's not gonna. 
That ain't marriage man, material. Yeah, a real man is not gonna ever take them seriously, man. And you from a whole nother city, so I don't know what your background is like. <laughs> and that matters. People always say, oh, that's just the past. No, nah, nah, I need to know buddy. what you got going on. We need on. to know where you coming from. You might have a record. Yeah. You know, I ain't talking about a, a, a scratching record. <laughs> I'm talking about a criminal record. Yep. And, not, you know, and hopefully if you do have a criminal record, you know, you're doing positive things, but you just don't know what these people come from. How was she living? Was yeah. she the, did everybody in the neighborhood run trains on this or whatever? Come on. You running in there, you got her on the red carpet like you got some a, a jewel. My God. And not to say a woman is jewel not is not a jewel from her past, but if you thinking that you got some, you know, a situation yeah. and, and is next thing you know, you done got married and now you hearing all these tabloids. <laughs> Now you find a, a, a fucking porn come out on her or certain pictures of whoever she was with, some yeah. rapper she was dating that yeah. you didn't know that, some, that she didn't tell you about. So, Whew. man, you got to really get to know folks, man. Yeah. You know, before you really just lock in and really, and it'll sound good. Oh, you know, she got this and now we going to get married, be a parallel couple. Eh, let's see see what we can bring. Let's see if our crazies match because everybody crazy. Let's get yeah. that straight. <laughs> First thing is, like, man, she crazy. The women say, oh, that nigga crazy. Everybody, Everybody has crazy. crazy in them. You just got yeah. to see if your crazies match. Facts. That's what it is. But um, like I said, man, when it comes to relationships, bro, it's, I, I, I don't. Um, is this a certain woman that I would, or a certain and a certain thing with with women? You, you met this. <clears throat> excuse me. You, you in the club. You see a dude standing on the couch, or making it rain, or doing whatever he do. All right, you see that he's doing that for fun. But if you hanging out and you you see that that's all this guy does, mm. it's a slim chance that he's gonna stop that once y'all get serious. And if you ask him, you know, hey, when you gonna the same thing with a guy who's dating a girl who's showing her ass on the yeah. internet? All right, baby, you know, we we get more serious. Are you yeah. gonna stop showing the you know <laughs> giving back shots on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> and if she don't stop, boom, now you see what you're dealing with. Exactly. But you done walked her on the red carpet, and niggas is like, hey, bro, for real? <laughs> you know, so like, you know, no, she's a date, your boy, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. You be like, man, get out of here. And that shouldn't matter, but if, it's you're, a reality. King, if you're a king, bro, Come you truly run, run around here with exactly. a crown. Exactly. Man, you could be dethroned, bro, or uh, uncrowned, boy, when somebody tell you that your so-called queen ain't what you think. 